Hi, I'm Alex, and today in this video we're going to be installing Slackware on this old gateway here. It's a Pentium 3. Uh, originally came with Windows 98, but when I got it, it had XP on it. So, let's go ahead and put the install disk in. We're going to be installing Slackware 12.2. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Probably could see that for a little bit there. Uh, now we're gonna stick it in. First, we gotta turn it on. Looks like my camera battery is about to die, so I'm going to go get a new battery and I'll come back. Okay, so it's booted up now. I've got a new battery in my camera, so we're good to go. Um, so it says press F1 to go to setup. We're going to go into the BIOS and make sure that the first boot device is the CD-ROM because that's what the install disk is so I think that's all we need Um, the battery that keeps settings is dead, so it, it says there's an error about the time and date, so that's okay. I'm going to press escape to resume. This is what it first comes to. Um, since I don't have anything special, I'm just going to press enter. Okay, now it asks about keyboard map. It says we can just hit, hit enter for uh, US map. That's what I have, so. Now we just log in as root. And we need to uh, partition the disk, so I'm going to use CF disk. Uh, F disk is basically the same thing, just I think CF disk is easier to use. So we're going to use that. I already installed it, so I'm going to uh, delete these partitions. And so now we're going to make a new one. This is going to be the main uh, partition. We're going to set primary, and then I'm just going to make it, since it's 20 gigs, I'm just going to make it 1900 because we want to swap space. Beginning. Yep, okay. And then we're going to make that bootable. And then this. I'm going to make a new one, primary, just using the space that it says. And then we're going to change this type to swap, Linux swap uh, 82. So, yep. Okay. And now we hit right. And then we have to make sure. Okay, so that's it. Just, we're just gonna hit quit. And now we just type in setup. This is gonna take a while, so I'll cut to when uh, it's done. Alright, so we're in uh, to the setup program, 
and it's not you don't really have to do too much in here we just have to click add swap first all right so it says swap space detected it detected our uh, swap type so we're going to click enter uh, check for bad blocks. I already know there's no bad blocks. We're just going to hit sit, uh, hit no. Okay, and then it adds it to the F stab. And then okay, and then select what we want to use as the root partition. We're going to use the first one. Um, I already know there's no bad blocks. So we're just going to hit format. Um, normally you would go with ext4, but since this is an old version, we're going to hit ext3. Alright, it's formatting. Alright, it's done, and it's adding it to the F stab. That's okay. Now it should start the uh, install. It says that it found uh, FAT or NTFS partitions. There is a second hard drive in here, so we're going to hit yes. Yep. And then it must be placed somewhere in your directory tree, so we're going to just do slash MNT. That's where you normally mount things. And then I'm going to do slash, um, I'll just say win. And now install from Slackware CD or DVD, and we have a DVD scan. Yep. And then we pick everything we want to install. You really want to install everything because, um, well, number one, this doesn't have an internet connection. Uh, number two, this other stuff will install de dependencies for other programs you might want to install in the future. And it pretty much picks everything. I don't really need international language support, so I'm going to say I'm not going to get that. So I'm just going to click OK. And we're going to do full. And now it should install. So I don't think there's anything else I'll cut when it's done. I'll leave the camera rolling so you guys can see a time lapse. Okay, there was a change in plans because I ran out of space on my SD card, so there was no time lapse. But uh, now it asks uh, if you want to make a USB boot stick. This computer can't even boot from USB, so I don't worry about that. Uh, and then it talks about the bootloader. We're just going to do simple. And then. I'm not 100% sure about the, what the third um, number is. I think it might be colors. So I just go with this one, uh, 1024 by 768 by 64K. So that's what I'm going to go with. Extra parameters to be passed to kernel. Um, I'm just going to say OK because we didn't need any more. Uh, oh, we're just going to say no. Okay, now it says to pick uh, Lilo destination. We're just going to say master boot record. Okay, now it says to pick what mouse. I use a PS2 mouse, that's what this is. So that's what we're going to go with. Cut and paste in the terminal, yeah, we want that. Configure network, no, because we don't have any. We have a modem, but that's it. So, um, you pick services you want to start. Uh, I'm just going to go with what it says, because it doesn't look like we need any of these. So, okay. 
no. Uh, it doesn't matter about the clock because the clock's wrong anyway, so I'm just gonna set that. And then the Eastern Time Zone. Uh, now I'm gonna pick what window manager we want. So we've got some different options. Um, I prefer KDE, but XFC is a little bit easier to run on older computers. Um, we'll go with KDE. There is no password, so we're gonna we're not gonna set one. Installation is complete. Okay. Um, seems to be a little bit frozen, so we're just gonna do shut down. Okay, it just took a little bit to process. Okay. Now when it reboots, we're gonna take the CD out. Okay. Let's set that down. And let it reboot here. Um, I think I have Windows on the other drive, but we want to boot to Linux, so that's what we're going to choose. Now it looks like it's checking the hard drive. Just to make sure that's good. Okay, it looks like it's got to reboot after that. Alright, so the first time I did this, my camera stopped recording in the middle of it. So. We're gonna try this again. You know, we're just going to log in as root. You could create a new user, but I, I'm choosing not to. And now I just type in start x to start the graphical environment. Alright, we're in. Um, uh, don't need this. It's pretty basic. Not too much in here, but... Just open a few programs here. Not too much here. Yeah. That's Slackware on a 20 to 25 year old computer. See ya.